Is everyone ready for a second amazing season of Rockstar? 15 talented performers begin the quest to become the new lead singer of a brand new rock band. And if you want to know just how huge that this could be for one aspiring rocker, check this out. JD, you are right for our band in excess. Last year on Rockstar, singer J.D. Fortune went from homeless to the lead singer of rock megagroup in excess. You are the rock star! Overnight, J.D. was fronting a sold-out international tour and living the rock star dream. I'm still homeless. <laughs> It's a different kind of homeless. It's a homeless that comes with room service. Being in this band, it's filled all of my expectations and more. Wow, could you believe that JD, our bad boy, is playing to sold out arenas? The 25,000 singers from around the world had the same dream. And after traveling the globe, we narrowed it down to the 15 best unsigned rockers on the planet. And they're all hungry for their big break. Everyone, please give it up for our final 15 rockers. In three months' time, one of you will record an album, tour around the world, and become the lead singer for the most incredible new rock and roll band to emerge in years, Supernova. We've all played the biggest stages in the world, and we're really looking to bring a whole nother level to the party. Supernova, it's, it's the clash of stars. And you've got three very big stars here from hugely successful, powerful rock bands. Jason Newsted from Metallica and Gilby Clark from you know, Guns N' Roses and got me with Motley Crue. Tommy and Gilby and I have been friends for years. I get this call from Tommy, says you want to come and jam in my band. You know, we want to create something new. Supernova is not a heavy metal band. What we've accomplished so far in the studio sounds really new and fresh. Now, we're looking for a rock star. We've scoured the whole globe, Iceland, New Zealand, Australia, North America, all over the states. 25,000 applicants. Oh, yeah. I know the singer for our band is in there. You know, I know it for a fact. Whoever it is that wins will be thrust completely into the fast lane, boom, on an album and a stage and a tour. Hang on, baby. Hope you brought your helmet. Them. They've played thousands of live shows before millions of screaming fans on six continents. And let me tell you, they have forgotten more rock and roll parties than you and I have ever been to. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the world a new rock supergroup, Supernova. Gilby Clark. So help me welcome back one of the greatest guitar players alive and a rock legend himself, my friend, Mr. Dave Navarro. Brooke, I gotta tell you, I missed you. I missed you too. I've been looking you up all winter on the internet. Uh-oh. It's good talk to see about you right later. here. <laughs> I'm super psyched to be here this season, especially with my good friends, Gilby, Tommy, Jason. Tommy, what's at stake here? Well, first of all, hello, everybody. Uh, you know what's at stake here? It's freaking huge. Huge. Okay? We ain't messing around. One of those guys right there, or girls, okay, is going to front Supernova. So y'all better uh, <clears throat> buckle up. Right on, man. You guys, this is a real exciting time for us, too, because we're going to record a song, and the single is going to drop the end of September. Followed by the album. Then one big show is planned for New Year's Eve. 
New Year's Eve, Las Vegas, Peter Morton's Hard Rock Hotel and Casino, the joint, us, and one of those maniacs. It's going to be off the block, all right? Same stage that Metallica's played at, that Molly Crew has played at, that Guns N' Roses has played at, and that Jane's Addiction has played at as well. Yeah! I don't mind telling you that much. So, Jason, the real question is, what is Supernova going to sound like? It is rock and roll! And I'll tell you, if you don't believe us on the sound that we're trying to create here, the man over there is the Rolling Stone magazine producer of the year, Butch Walker. Yeah! How you guys doing? It's not 1986, it's 2006, so I'm really looking forward to doing something really fresh and new with these guys. So. Sweet, dude. Yeah! We got producer of the year, three of the greatest musicians on the planet, New Year's Eve at the joint, and one of you guys is going to be rocking it with them. What a show. Brooke? Thanks, Dave. Let me break down for you how this is going to work. Each week, the rockers actually have to decide amongst themselves what song that they'll be singing. And after the last song of the evening is performed, voting windows will open around the world. And then you get to decide who you think is right for this band by voting for your favorite rocker. I'll give you the early voting results before we leave the air tonight. Then tomorrow night, the three rockers with the fewest votes will face elimination, and Supernova will decide who stays and who goes. And by the end of the summer, we will have our rock star. All right, everyone. I have been dying to say this for 10 months. Enough talk. Are you guys ready to rock? Let me just put something out there. Can a woman really front Supernova? Well, Gilby, Jason, and Tommy are on record saying, hell yes. And our women would obviously agree. But then if your name was Storm Large and you walked on stage, you better know how to rock the house. Storm Large is my real name. The name totally works for me because people remember it. I've been told, oh, you're just selling your sexuality instead of your talent. But first and foremost, I am a performer. I take command of the stage, and I take control of the show and give everybody a good time and elevate the room. Let's see if Storm can live up to her name. Singing the Who's classic pinball wizard, this is Storm Large. He stands just like a statue in part of the machine Feeling all the bumpers, he always plays it clean He plays by to replay, man, I've never seen him fall That death down the blanket Shaw plays a main pin
What's up, Stormy? Let me just congratulate you on kicking off the season. Thank you. Super dope. That was badass, man. Thank you. Hi, Spicy. Careful, sailor. I'm curious why you picked that song. Because, Tommy, I am unafraid. <laughs> Storm, did it freak you out uh, to be the first uh, performer tonight? I like being first. I don't, man. Keep it and going. I get a clean mic. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Welcome! Thank you so much. All right, Ryan Starr is 28, single, and a musician from New York who majored in philosophy. Sounds like a singles ad, but wait, because this all-American guy has his own brand of rock and roll. A rock star to me, it's, it's, it's not so much about the image as much as it is about being honest. I'm not the guy that's all tattooed up or pierced or whatever. I appreciate that, but it's just not me. I'm by no means a rock star yet. I think I'm half that. I think I'm, I'm rock. I got that part down. But the star part is definitely going to come from people embracing you and uh, making you a star. And I hope to get there. Ready to make his claim to stardom with the Goo Goo Dolls hit Iris. It's Ryan Starr. forever to touch you Cause I know that you feel me somehow You're the closest to heaven I'll ever be And I don't want to go home right now And I don't want the world to see me Cause I don't think that they'd understand When everything's made to be broken That ain't coming Oh, the moment of truth in my eyes When all that you see is the movie Yeah, you bleed just to know Star. I gotta tell you, that was a great performance. I totally believe your passion in that song. Audience truly dug it. You could tell. <laughs> truly dug it. That was awesome. I like the versatility with the guitar. The only thing that got to me was the looking down at the chords all the time as you're singing. But the performance was so good, it captured us. So I appreciate that, and that was good. Thank you, I appreciate that. Well done. Thank well you done. for that, thank you. Right on, Ryan, thank you. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Way to kick off the show. Thanks. Two rockers down. At the end of the show, here's how you can vote for your favorites. Log on to rockstar.msn.com. Or you can also vote on the Rockstar Supernova tab in Windows Live Messenger. Verizon Wireless subscribers only. To vote for Storm, text the word vote to rock01. To vote for Ryan, text vote to rock02. Standard text message rate supply. Thanks, Ryan. Thank you. Thank you. Now remember, you can vote for whomever you want as many times as you want, but don't drop your remotes because the lines aren't open yet. Coming up, the rock audition of a lifetime continues, so don't go anywhere. Welcome back everyone to Rockstar Supernova. We're listening to the world's greatest unsigned rockers, all shooting for the same dream. To be the singer for brand new mega group, Supernova. Jason Newstead, Tommy Lee, and Gilby Clark. 
Our next rocker is a surfer dude from Australia who dropped out of high school to chase his rock and roll dreams. This was like the best way of my life. Just that feeling of what's going to happen and how many unbelievable turns I'm going to do on it. I like to have a good time. Hopefully there's some single girls in the show. If I win, that's huge. That is like pack your bags, let's take on the world. And I'm just looking forward to smashing the hell out of it. With a special acoustic performance of the Dylan classic, Knocking on Heaven's Door, please welcome Toby Rand. What's up, kid? Was it your choice to go acoustic with that? Yeah, it was, mate. You know what, I think it was a great choice because it really highlighted your voice. Thanks, brother. Awesome. Hello, mate. Hey, you go, mate. I don't know how I'm going, but I know where I'm going. Okay, well, hopefully I'm coming with you. <laughs> Good answer. Oh, there he is. Well done. Sitting on the floor was a nice touch. I think all the girls liked it. I played that song a bazillion times. It was a great change, man. It was refreshing. You killed it, man. It was awesome. Thank you, brother. Uh, the one thing, being producer of the project, the one thing I always listen for <clears throat> is how a person's voice sounds going through a microphone. It sounds really good. And okay. I mean, that's important. Badass, Toby. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Patrice Pike is a combination of the girl next door with a punk rock twist. She's toured all across the U.S. and Western Europe, building a loyal fan base along the way. I grew up wanting to be a musician and be successful because my family loved music and encouraged me to do it. My dream in life is to make music for my life. This opportunity, I think, could be the biggest opportunity that I've ever had, but that really all depends on me. The 60s classic Somebody to Love by Jefferson Airplane from Austin, Texas. It's Patrice Pike. When the truth is found to be lies and all the joy. Down, down. 
like. Let me tell you something. You killed that. You seriously killed it. <laughs> and and I'll tell you this. It was really great to see you go and interact with the band like that. That's awesome. And whoever's gonna win this thing is gonna have these three guys to interact with. Good Sweet. job, girl. I love the tone of your voice, man. It just, it, to me, it just really gets me. Right on, all right. But I also can feel that, um, that you really want to be in this band. Oh, hell yeah, I want to yeah. be in this band. I can tell yeah. that you want the gig. Yeah, definitely. Patrice, thank you so much. All right, peace. You ever wonder if Iceland could rock? Well, we did, until Magni sent us his audition tape. His band is number one in Iceland right now, but he'd give all that up to front Supernova. I'm probably one of the 10 most recognized singers in Iceland. Maybe kind of cocky to say that, but Iceland's such a small place. When we have somebody representing our country, you have to make them proud. What I'm most looking forward to is singing to the whole of America or the whole of the world. This is the opportunity of a lifetime. Here to prove that great rock has no borders by singing the Rolling Stones classic Satisfaction. Let's hear it from Magni. <laughs> First time playing in the U.S. Tell me how it feels. Are you liking that? I, I wish I knew how to say something in Icelandic. Uh, how, how would I say hello to you in Icelandic? Uh, hello. What, <laughs> for me, I felt that the stage vibe was a little on the Vegas tip. Dude. And, I, and I feel, I'm just telling I've you. I've never been I'm... to Vegas, man. <laughs> well, you should go. I agree with David. You have a, you have a strong voice, but... This is, this is a dirty rock and roll band. So I want you to be yourself, but keep that in mind. Point taken. Thank you. Thanks, Magni. Well Thank you. Here's how you vote. At the end of the show, go to rockstar.msn.com. Or if texting is your thing, for Toby, text the word vote to rock03. For Patrice, it's rock04. And for Magni, it's rock05. We've got a rock supergroup in need of a lead singer and just 13 weeks to find one. Stay tuned, everyone, for more hot rock and roll. Welcome back, everyone, to Rockstar Supernova, where the 15 best unsigned rockers in the world are all fighting to front this brand new group, Supernova, headed up by these rock legends, Gilby Clark, Tommy Lee, and Jason Newstead. When rock and roll is your dream, nothing will stand in your way. Saida Alvarez learned that firsthand. 
I come from a very, very small town in Puerto Rico. Nobody has ever made it. That place was too small for me. I always knew that I wanted to be a singer, that I wanted to be on stage. I'm here for a reason. You know, it's my time. With our own take on the Evanescence hit, Bring Me to Life, give it up for Saida Alvarez. I'm so happy to finally meet you. <laughs> yeah, happy to meet you too, sweetie. And that intro reminded me of the homeland, by the way. La Raza. La Raza, huh? yeah. yeah. <laughs> you have this kind of Mazzy Star meets Bjork thing hiding inside you that I love, personally. I'm so waiting for, I, I know for you that are. production with you, baby. All right. I'm excited to, to hear what you're going to do next, okay? Yeah. Thank you. Very spicy. Very spicy. I think you guys need some spice, you know? Oh, no. I, we're down with the spice. Will you marry me? <laughs> yes, baby. Thank you. Wow. Oh, Let's <laughs> Jenny Galt started singing at the age of six, playing guitar at 16, and now at 29, she's all grown up and ready to take on the world. Watch this. I have toured across Canada, recorded videos. I was pretty close to making it, but never quite hit that point where I'm a big rock star. You always think maybe I'm right on the verge of everything exploding. And hopefully this is that opportunity for me to really make it happen. Putting her own stamp on Nickelback's How You Remind Me, here's Canada's own Jenny Galt. <laughs>
Jenny Galt. Hi, Jenny. Hi. That was hot and sexy and sweet sounding and all the curves in all the right places. Do you mean me or the guitar? I'm talking about the Les Paul. <laughs> but I will say that is a great example of someone who can play an instrument comfortably on stage. Thank nice you. Nice job. Thank you. Nice job. You really look like you belong in front of a rock band up there. You come out with a lot of power, so it's very cool. Very cool. Thank you. I, I feel like I belong there. Thanks, baby. Thanks, guys. Josh Logan cut his rocker teeth on his mom's karaoke machine in Manchester, New Hampshire. Well, since then, he's become a rock and roll original with a unique brand of soul. I think my style, my soul style, whatever you want to call it, can mesh with anything that Supernova is going to produce. I just hope that this is the kind of band that doesn't want to be this one-dimensional sound because I'm multi-dimensional. I can jump into any style that I feel like the song is calling for. I think the definition of rock style needs to be reinvented. I think it's time to be something different. I want to create something new. Singing in the Black Crows, she talks to angels. Make some noise for Josh Logan. It's never meant since the word diction. In certain company. Well, tell you she is an orphan, an orphan, yeah. After you meet her family. Across the brown net. Oh, yeah, the lamp is from a little boy. And the cross is someone she has not met. Oh, not yet. This thing talks to the ages. Oh, yeah. Oh, Lord, come to God by the name. It's almost as though Chris Robinson of the Black Crows went to finishing school. <laughs> <laughs> You've got such a great tonality to your voice. That was incredible. Thank you, Ben. It was truly incredible. Thanks a lot. Why did you pick that tune? Man, I just feel it. It's, if it's something that I can, you know, kind of move like this to, that's my tune. You know right on, saying? man. Excellent song choice for someone who has so much soul. Hell yeah. Well done, baby. Love the soul, baby. Thanks, Tom. What makes you think that you could front this super heavy band with when you have you know when your forte is that funk and i think i'll bring that to you guys you know? okay you know good what yeah for sure thank you josh awesome thanks josh let me remind you one more time how this works at the end of the show you can vote for your favorites at rockstar.msn.com verizon wireless subscribers only to vote for saida text the word vote to rock 06 for Jenny, it's Rock 07, and for Josh, it's Rock 08. Remember, you can vote for whomever you want as many times as you want, but not until I tell you to. When we come back, more rockers take the stage, and they all have their sights set on Supernova. Stay right where you are. Nova. 
What do real estate and rock and roll have in common? Not a thing. And that was the problem for Chicago's Matt Hoffer. So he traded in the six-day work week for a six-string guitar and hasn't looked back. I worked six years in the corporate real estate industry. You know, as a top producer in my company, but life is about taking risks and it's about following your gut. And I pursued what I wanted to do. Music to me is my true passion. Was it so hard? Right now, just to go from being a corporate guy to possibly fronting Supernova, it's a dream come true. Hoping to make money with Coldplay's hit Yellow, it's Matt Hoffer. What's up, man? I mowed lawns and painted houses, which sucked. You did real estate. You're on CBS Rockstar. What a beautiful way to start off. Thanks. <laughs> you know what? I love that song, and you Thank obviously you. can deliver it. There were like a few pitch problems at the end, but you know, who cares? It's rock and roll. But uh, next time, I'd like to see you play something a little bit uglier, a little bit heavier. Yeah, I can't you wait. Know, for these guys. It's good, Thanks, man. man. Thanks, man. Thanks so much, guys. Delano was born in Africa and now lives in Texas. She's got a big voice, big talent, and a big heart. All Delano wants now is her big break. Watch this. The strength in my voice is due to the soul that I have, everything I've been through in my life. In Africa, I grew up really, really poor. I remember times when we didn't have any food in the house and my mom would knock on the neighbor's door to get us some bread. Every time I step onto a stage, it's like my entire world changes. It's like I own it. And I love that feeling. Bringing her unique style to the Nirvana hit Lithium, show some love for Delana. <laughs> So happy, cause today I found my friends, they're in my head. I'm so lovely, that's okay, cause so I am. Broke out mirrors, Sunday morning, it's every day for all I care. And I'm not scared, light my candles, you're not taste, cause I found God. So lonely, that's okay. I shave my head, and I don't care. Sunday morning, that's okay. Cause so
That was insane. Awesome. Let me tell you this. When you were standing still, you had this intensity about you, which is just riveting. I freaking love watching you. Uh, next, I, I can't even. I, 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 I can't even talk. I honestly can't describe to you how amazing it is to stand in front of everybody. Delana, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, guys. you so much, girl. Thanks, Delana. All right, everybody. You know the drill. At the end of the show, go to rockstar.msn.com to vote. Verizon Wireless subscribers only. To vote for Matt, text the word vote to Rock09. For Delana, it's Rock10. Up next, three more voices and three more dreams. The voting window is almost open, so stay tuned, everyone. Supernova. Can a sweet 22-year-old Southern girl who once sang backup at weddings hold her own with Supernova? When you've got a set of pipes like Dana Andrews does, you better believe it. I'm from Augusta, Georgia. I guess as a child I was pretty sheltered. I was kept from the dangers of the world. Getting on a plane and coming out here, it was amazing. It was so much fun. And it was my first plane ride. There's so much freedom in rock and roll to do whatever you want and be crazy on stage. I'm the baby, I'm only 22, and that's okay, because I have all the confidence in the world. I know that I can do this. This is my time to shine. Hoping to shine with the Melissa Etheridge hit, I'm the only one from Augusta, Georgia. Here's Dana Andrews. Please, baby, can't you see my mind's a burning hell? I got reasons to rip and tear and it's stripping my heart apart as well. Tonight you told me that you ain't for some new That some other woman is looking like something that might be good for you Go on and hold on till the screaming is gone Go on, believe her, wait you tell you're not Dana. Hey guys. How does mom and dad feel about the possibility of you climbing aboard a bus for a year with Tommy Lee? With you guys? Oh, it's great. I might be able to actually keep you alive. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Whoa, snap. I thought your voice was awesome, especially, I mean, being 22, most people can't sing their way out of a sack without being auto-tuned in the studio and fixed, and your pitch is great. Thank you. You've been given an incredible gift. All right, and we're watching it develop before our eyes. I so there you it. go. You got it. I know you can. can That's what I'm Thank saying. You Thanks, sweetie. Phil Ritchie went from the shy guy in his high school marching band to touring the country, fronting his own rock group. You see, guys, band camp does pay off. Take a look. 
I was a chemistry major in college, and I decided I didn't want to be a lab rat. I wanted to be a rock star. I could probably be making $100,000 a year by now. There's a lot of people that make choices in life based on financial security, and it's not really the best way to go through life. I just have to play music because it's my passion. It's what I love to do. Bringing all his passion to living colors, cult of personality, it's Maryland's own Phil Ritchie. I love that song. I was on tour Living Color. I hope I did it justice. You know, you're vocally, you're, you're strong. I just felt like your stage presence kind of lacked that strength and confidence that I'd like to see in front of these guys, personally. Sure. You're a little pitchy on that one, man. Oh, no. It's kind of a crazy song choice for you, and I just want everybody, all, all you guys, not just Phil, all you guys to realize how important the song choice is for you guys. Well done anyway, and I like your style. I like you. All right, Phil. Thank you, dude. Thanks, guys. When we first saw Jill Joya, all four foot eleven of her, we asked her, "Can you handle Supernova?" And Jill's quick response was, "Can Supernova handle me?" Well, we're about to find out. Back on Long Island, it was always, "Oh, it's the little girl with the big voice." I always knew I wanted to be a rock singer. I knew I wanted to be on stage singing when I was three years old. My motto is all or nothing, nothing less than everything. I confront Supernova, I have no doubt in my mind. And I am here to kick some ass. Singing the Janis Joplin classic, Peace of My Heart, here is Jill Joya. Like you were the only man Yeah, I do not give you nearly everything that a woman possibly can Honey, you know I did But each time I tell myself and I I think I've had enough But I'm gonna show you, baby That a woman can be tough Won't you just go?
Jill Joya. Oh, Jill. Let me tell you, you did a great job. It was awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's like a stick of dynamite, right? Small package, giant power. I mean, wow. Incredible Thank power. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. You can vote for these three or any of your favorites at the end of the show by going to rockstar.msn.com. Verizon Wireless subscribers only. To vote for Dana, text the word VOTE to ROCK11. For Phil, ROCK12. Or for Jill, it's ROCK13. Remember, if you try to vote now, it's not going to count, so just don't do it. Our last two rockers are coming up, and then the voting begins, so stick around, everyone. Welcome back, everyone, to Rockstar Supernova. I'm Brooke Burke. Two more rockers to go, and then you get to vote. Baseball used to be Chris Pearson's life, but then a career-ending injury took him out of the game. Now this jock lives to rock. I played baseball. I started having problems with my arm and ended up having to have surgery on it. Music was an outlet for everything that I was going through. Life sometimes leads you into different directions. My favorite thing I think about rock and roll is you don't have to be perfect. I come to the table being just me. Pure rock and roll emotion and passion. Rocking out the police's classic tune, Roxanne. Here's Atlanta's Chris Pearson. Gotta be honest, dude, I was not a huge fan of that. I felt that that song really showcased how limited your range is. There's not many male vocalists that can do Sting's range to begin with. Did you sure. change the arrangement on that yourself, the, the version? The old arrangement is not current. I wanted to go to a little bit more rock with it. And, uh, you know. You just have to be careful how you rearrange a, a classic. It's cool to take a tune and rock it up. But unfortunately, that one sucked, Chris, man. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, I'm cool with him, man. Thank you, Chris. Thanks, brother. Thanks, guys. We're almost there. Our last rocker, Lucas Rossi, has been on his own since he was a teen. And all this time, he's been focused on just one thing, his music. I've been on the streets since I was about 15, and my music was my best friend. I'm not here to be TV star, I'm not here to be pop star, I'm here to be in a serious band. I don't put on an act or a persona, it's a way of life for me, you know? On or off stage, I'm absolutely the real deal. And I ain't leaving until I'm satisfied, you know what I mean? Taking the stage with Billy Idol's Rebel Yell, Toronto's very own Lucas Rossi. Six 
Last night, little angel came from being on the floor. She said, Come on, baby, I got a license for love. Yeah, your feet is back, pray out from above because in the midnight hour, baby, you want more. insane dude that was awesome that was Thanks, awesome the fact that i don't know of you yet is why a show like this is so important that was incredible Thanks, right man. on dude right on you made that song your own not billy idols that was your tune man enjoy this that's my road man <clears throat> can you say rock star thanks buddy thanks a lot guys Way to end the show, Lucas. All right, guys, the voting lines will be open in just a minute. To vote for Chris, text and vote to Rock 14. For Lucas, it's Rock 15. Or go to rockstar.msn.com. Before the voting begins, let's check out our 15 rockers one more time. He's a and will remain open for at least the next four hours. 
Remember, you're voting for your favorites and can vote as many times as you want by logging on to rockstar.msn.com or texting on Verizon Wireless. When we come back, the first results from the worldwide vote. Get voting right now. Stay tuned, everyone. The polls are open, and your votes are already influencing the bottom three. Here are the results from the first few minutes of worldwide voting. Now, these names are in no particular order. Is your favorite already in the bottom three? Well, you have the power to change it, but you gotta get to it and vote. Tomorrow night, the three rockers with the fewest votes will have to sing again, and Supernova will send one of them home. Whose performance will save them, and whose will seal their fate?